Hello everyone, welcome to Michael's blog in the Philippines. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of a foreigner alliance, meaning that we really have to stick together. You know, as a foreigner, we don't know everything, but we each have our different experiences. And I know time and time again since I've been here, even though I've been here for a few years, every time it never fails that my relationships with other foreigners here who share information with me has been super valuable for me. You know, in, in the previous video, I talked about, you know, vehicles and a lot of the information came from my own research, but also some of it came from, you know, connecting with other foreigners. And actually, you know, piggybacking on the previous video, actually one of the foreigners I know told me he knows a mechanic who would give me a fair price and won't, you know, treat me bad because I'm a foreigner and try to mark the price up, you know, X percent or whatever amount they decide. So um, having that connection is really important. So we have to really depend on each other to get accurate information and also to get, you know, proper pricing when we're making um, big purchases. So it's really important for us to be connected with each other so that we can you know, gain the information we need to have a seamless experience here. So, you know, there's been situations where I've shared information with other foreigners about different services that they don't know about, and they've been here longer than me. So there's still something that we can learn from each other, no matter how many years or months or days you've been here. We all have, you know, different backgrounds. And so, um, you know, I just want to give you that information that when you do arrive here to the best of your abilities, you do want to try to form a relationship with other foreigners so that you're not just out there and sorry about the vehicle going by, but just so that you're not out there and just wondering, like, I wonder what you do for this. It could be something as simple as you knowing when to go to the immigration office for whatever situations you may have. Uh, knowing what to bring when you go to the immigration office or some of the issues you might run into there. You know, the, the types of visas that you have access to. I mean, one of the reasons my life is a little bit easier here is because now I found, I've, I found out about a visa that allows you to stay here without having to visit the immigration as often because my situation is different than some of the other foreigners. You know, so um, we really we really rely on each other in the Philippines. You know, I know some of you are not here and you don't understand that, but in America, I know everyone's kind of just to themselves, but when you're a foreigner abroad, you don't really have the option of being segregated from each other. You really have to be integrated. And I see some foreigners who come here and they want to be separated, but they stay here long enough. They're going to start to understand that that mentality of separating yourself does not work here. It really does not. You know, and you never know when you're going to need another foreigner's insight and wisdom, you know, so you got to keep yourself connected. Um, other than that, you know, I would just say, you know, build friendships, try to at least, <laughs> you know, if you don't know anyone here, you can always come to my channel and, you know, ask questions and I'll try my best to help you. But, you know, don't just depend on my channel. Connect with other foreigners. They have different insights that could be you know, super valuable to you. So that is pretty much this video. I'm not going to make it any longer than it is right now. Um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe and stay tuned for future videos on Michael's vlog. Until then, see you later. Have a good day.